Hey, welcome to Low Key Smart Home, and today we're going to be going over the install of Frigate in Unraid. The uh, reason I'm making this video is because I could not find a video with specific instructions for this scenario, so here we go. What we're going to do first off is go into our Unraid server, go to our Apps tab, look for Frigate, and click on Install. It'll give you some verbiage here about recommendations based on your particular setup for me. I am going to be using a Google Coro and an Intel based system, so I will make those adjustments accordingly. For your particular scenario, if you're using NVIDIA or AMD or another scenario, you can look through this to find out what the recommendations are. So we're going to click OK. I'll use the default branch. It'll bring us to our configuration page prior to being installed to Docker officially. I recommend it. It's recommended to turn on privilege, so we'll turn that on. I will remove the items that don't apply to my install scenario. You can do the same for your scenario. So this is your Coral TPU mapping. Mine's a USB-based one. There are other ones that are like M.2 or other interfaces, but for me it's USB, so I just leave the default, which is USB. And then until AMD GPU mapping and the drivers. All the rest of the things also leave by default and we'll come down here and get ready to install. But before we click the apply button, I want to point out a key point. The part that had the biggest hurdle for me was identifying where to find the username and password when I was initially trying to log into Forget and got it up and running. So what you want to do, and I can't stress this enough, once you click apply, it's going to go through, install the container pieces, and then you'll be able to go look at the Docker for the initial first time. Before you actually open the web UI, what you need to do is go to your logs and grab the generated username and password that is provided to you. The only time it is provided to you is on the initial startup that I'm aware of. If somebody knows of where to find it after the fact, if you happen to forget and go to the login page, even if you don't actually log in, it goes away from the logs. I don't know why. Let me know. Happy to pass it on to the community, but that's my experience so far. So enough blabbling. We're going to go ahead and apply. Let it go through the install process. We click done. Now we'll be able to go to our Docker tab and see our friggin' install is installed and started. Now we're going to go to our logs. And for this, the piece that I am referring to is here, right towards the bottom, surrounded by asterisks. And you can see the username, which is always admin, and then the one-time password, which is generated. So you go ahead and right-click, click Copy, put it somewhere on a notepad, somewhere that you can find it. Verify that you actually did copy it. Make sure you don't have any spaces or any weird stuff in included outside of the actual password. From here, we can actually close out of the log. And what we're going to do is go to our frigate docker again. Now we're going to go to web UI. For me, I always get this bad request. It looks like it's trying to load a HTTPS page when I load HTTP. So I usually fix it by just typing HTTPS, hitting enter, acknowledging. And here we are at the login page. As we saw earlier, username is admin, password, we're going to paste it in. Hit log in, and it'll bring us to our homepage for Frigate. Now from here, you can follow the guys that are out there for your various scenarios. There's so many cameras and so many things that people like to do. Um, but the key parts that I guess we should cover initially is where to go to make some important key changes. So in the bottom left, you see the settings icon here. You click that, you go to settings again. And for me, forget sometimes seems to be weird with the automatically loading of the actual page. So sometimes I have to refresh a couple of times in order for it to just populate the actual page. And now we can go to users and you can come here now and either add a user or you can update your admin password to something that's easy for you to remember rather than that random one that was generated, whatever you choose. Um, the only other item that I would say is probably a key thing to note, which is probably where you're going to spend most of your time, is going to be the actual configuration editor for YAML for all your initial settings for like your cameras, if you want to use a Coral, if you want to use a mainstream, substream, 
all that good stuff is done in the YAML. And a lot of it is automatically added to the YAML from the GUI as well. So at least we can put it in the baseline YAML and go from there. If again, doesn't load, just hit refresh. You'll get your YAML page and you can start making your adjustments. But at least now there is some kind of a guide, hopefully helpful to you, on how to get to the initial login on Unraid for Frigate as a Docker. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll have more videos in the future for other smart home items. All right, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.